Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are at the Kennedy Space Center. And what we're going to be doing here is looking at some parking lot drains that they've got some problems with. If you've never been to the Kennedy Space Center, you really should come and take a look. Really cool place. Let me show you around. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are at the Kennedy Space Center here in Titusville, Cocoa Beach. Cape Canaveral and this is one of the most high-tech places in the world and I wanted to show you why you need a catch basin with your French drain remember this is the most technological place in the world and they've called us out here because they've got an issue with water and the French drain is not accepting that water and of course they do need some catch basins let's take a look so basically they've got a couple areas that have some problems Right in here, um, you can see how this slopes right by their main entrance. And when it rains hard, water is pooling up. It does come across and there is a storm drain right over here. They tell me this goes out to one of the canals and it's huge. Um, this is a 24 inch culvert and I can see water flowing through there. So the main line's open, but coming across this yard, water's getting trapped you know, right across here. So they're thinking about putting a channel drain in here. Lots of storm drains here, picking up water. You know, people talk about French drains and how they collect this water without catch basins. But you can see, these are huge storms. Just like a catch basin. Water, surface water, must have an inlet. It is so much faster than trying to allow it to go through the ground. So if you're putting in a French drain, definitely consider putting catch basins in. You can see them all over the place here. Here's another one. And they've created a swell, a low spot for that water to go. You can see they've got a little four inch line coming into this one. And that is a French drain. So there is some gravel perforated pipe out here or easy flow. They use a lot of that down here, but the immediate surface water is collected by storm drains. We've got a lot of issues here with irrigation. You can see all the irrigation. This place is huge, and they've called out a professional company to solve the problem. More storm drains. Again, they're just like giant catch basins. You really need these to pick up surface water. What I'm doing is just kind of following the line and they say it runs out to canal way down at the other end. These pipes are big, they're 24 inches. And when it rains here in Florida, just like any place else, area is so flat, water definitely pulls up. You can take a look, you can see the growth. So this line runs all the way back to, there's a canal back there behind that flag. And from the complex itself, these lines all connect and there's storm drains all over the place here so they all connect you know and they drain out to that canal it's kind of cool when you see some of the historical things you know here's a rocket with the two boosters and everybody's watched a launch but back to the business at hand you know, they've got a pretty good issue that's going on here. And it's a pretty simple problem. Basically the channel drain, we're just gonna cut that portion of the road, install a five inch channel drain. We are gonna use a metal uh, grate rather than the plastic because they've asked for that. Although, you know, the stuff that comes on the NDS five inch channel drain, it's super strong, but they do want a metal grate. So we'll put that on there. Some other interesting things here, you can see the size of those gutters. These are 12 inch gutters, the four inch downspout, they've just used thin walled PVC. And these all go underground and they go out and they tie into those storm drains I showed you out there. All of this water is, when it rains hard, even those big lines, they get full. And if that canal overflows, it gets even fuller. So we've got to be able to get a good amount of fall for our channel drain, which runs from this storm drain across. We're gonna core into this storm drain. 
And what that is is SDR 35. If you can see that green pipe, pretty simple. You know, we just need a four inch bit. We'll cut right through there and we'll solve that problem. But to give you that example again, why you need a catch basin with your French drain. You can see we are at a huge complex. This is the Kennedy Space Center. And everywhere there are catch basins. You know, they call them storm drains because they're larger, but they're catch basins. And this water, as water floods across the area, drops right down into that system and is carried away. If you don't put a catch basin on your French drain, it will work, but it will work much slower. You can see another one over here. And what they've done, let me step back, is they've created the low spot in, their, in this landscape. So the low spot's right over there by that storm drain. Can you see that storm drain over there? It's right there, and it's a low spot. So it picks up that water directly. Here is a 12 by 12 NDS catch basin. And again, it's picking up that water as it, not so much from here, but as it travels along the concrete, the walkway, it drops into that basin. And you can see, I can see where they trench this. If you look closely, it runs over and it's gonna make a 90 right here. And it comes over to this and there, there is the four inch pipe. Even out here, right by the main entrance, you can see there's catch basins. Just because we're walking across asphalt, the same thing takes place in your yard. You need to have immediate surface water collection, and that's what catch basins do. You can see we're right by the main gate to go into the complex. This is the main entrance into the complex, and when it rains hard, they have water that's about an eighth of an inch deep that covers all of this pavement, this asphalt. It is very important for them to move this water. It has to be moved, and a French drain is not going to do the trick. They need catch basins all over the place. Remember, it's just 9 a.m. and they're just opening, and you can see all the tour bus all the tour buses that have just pulled up, and. Within an hour, this place will be full of tour buses. Each bus holds, what, 40, 50 people? And you can just imagine, this place is packed. Whether it rains or shines, it makes no difference. And they've got to solve that water problem. So, out here by the tour bus parking area, this is just one of many, and you can see them, they're all parked way in the back over there. I don't know if you can see, there's hundreds of tour buses here. This is just another section. This area, I've been told, floods really bad. They gave us some plans of you know, where the certain where storm drains are, but there's nothing over here. And there are some parking lot drains you know, in the parking lot. There are also catch basins, they're just much bigger. But what they need is some type of collection for this area as it floods. And I proposed the sump pump here because it works far better than gravity. Yes, you gotta have power, but I mean, we're at the nation's in fact the world's most technological place and they understand that some pumps work better than gravity just more tourists coming in and not don't know where they're coming from they look like they might be from India actually pretty cool visiting Florida and it's a really a neat place you guys I hope that you all come down sometime just a few more rockets from the early 60s I really urge you guys, if you ever get the chance and you're down here, kind of costly to come in this place, but well worth the time and the experience, learn some history. So here in the courtyard of the main entrance, you can see over there is the main entrance and you can see some of the old rockets that were used back in the 60s to go on up and take a look around, go to the moon, around the moon, things like that. But what we're out here to do is to help solve some of the drainage issues. And you can see they've got a whole bunch of catch basins. There's one here, there's another one over here. And the catch basins are working great. They've actually come and they've regraded the area so that all the water slopes to that low spot and it's working good. A few years ago, 
they put in some uh, more catch basins and these are MDS catch basins 12 by 12 and if you look carefully you can see still see that line as it runs through here and this line's a four inch line it comes across and it turns and goes right into this catch basin you see that line down there and this is an 18 inch pipe it's SDR 35 and it runs from here to the next catch basin <clears throat> excuse me across and into that walkway and then from there it picks up the parking lot drains and runs all the way out to a canal so remember this is one of the most high-tech places in the world and they've called us out here because they've seen the videos and they know that catch basins are needed with their French drain yes the French drain does help dramatically here when it floods and groundwater is high but they need immediate surface water runoff too many people take a look too many people walk through the area and it's not crowded now it's just 9 a.m. and they're just opening up but look at all the tourists when this area floods they have a real problem so what they've decided to do is to put in some more catch basins we're going to be working all over the place the history here is really unbelievable especially if you're into space or astronomy it is so cool we're at one of the most technological advanced places in the world and they've called us out here because they know that catch basins are needed to move immediate surface water hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day